Wow. That is pretty friggin' cool. We're Lottie and Margaret, and we bought a van for 2,000 USD and converted it for 4,000 USD and traveled Europe with our cat Millie. We also make these ridiculous, powerful electric bikes like you've never seen before. Our base is in Czech Republic, where we made our workshop at a junkyard, renovated it from scrap material, and turned it into a full-on studio. We customize and 3D print just about everything, and now we are on a new mission. Make the best possible camper van with no imagination limits and see what we end up with. And in this video, you'll see some of our workshop foster kitten. Did I mention that we love cats? Tak, co jsme měli podstatně vyčistit na skriptetní. A sedí to vlastně, nebo si pak vyráběl z tu ten nástavec? Ne, ten jako celý ten basic chci udělat. A teďka si ho chci udělat líp než posledně, protože, protože pod ním chci jako mít zamykatelnou klec na milinu. <laughs> Adjustable armrest. This goes up and down, I like that too. Absolutely different positions. And we bought them for 2,000 Czech crowns, which is roughly 95 US dollars. If you buy swivel separately, that's around 110 dollars, 110 US dollars. So you need two, that's 220, plus you need seeds. It, it gets expensive. Now we have these new seeds and we need to fit them in our Ducado. Obviously it wouldn't be compatible with the original bases that have these seeds. So I need to make bases first and utilize the space under. So passenger side will have subwoofer under and driver side will have this cool kitten cage and, an, and, a, and a nest where she can hide. Although the metal structures of these mounts will be pretty much the same, both of them will look very different from each other in the final stage, and that's because they'll be serving completely different purposes. This project will also require a lot of work from the 3D printers. So a quick look, this is how the seats are held into place. And then they are bolted just here. So now Lottie needs to make basically a replicate for our mounts to be able to fit onto these so they don't move when we're driving. Okay, I think I'm ready essentially to make the mounts for the bases. I'm duplicating the same thing that is on the original ones, which is kind of like a fork at the back that slides on that pin and holds it down from, uh, from flipping just in case of an accident and the front ones are just bolted to the ground.
takhle, počkej, můžu to vůbec vyvrtat takhle? No, nebo tady kreslím science fiction. Fit. Is the camera ready? Camera's ready. Mm. There it is. <laughs> that changes the game. I cannot imagine van without swivels. weight test to see whether we are saving or gaining weight so I have no expectations I have no idea what to think but we'll see the numbers soon 32 kilos mm -hmm. so now we can compare the other one so the original Ducato seat is two kilos lighter but it doesn't have a swivel mechanism I think if you buy swivel that could be around two kilos and be Roughly the same. This is very easy to take apart. Very, very easy. Look, this is now ready for repostery. Easy. This is gonna be probably divided in two, have different pockets at the back for storage. And wow, this is gonna look really, really nice. Time to separate the swivel. It's just so I feel better to bring it to the postery people. This looks really good. It's a pretty stiff, heavy duty swivel, that's for sure. And I like that. That's a good quality. And now these cushions, I separate it. So it's really easy to work on it individually. And you can see this is just a really simple fabric with a wire around. That will be very easy to duplicate and make new. Because the cushions, the, the foam itself seems to be in a really good shape. I like that. Okay, so this is a spring. Yeah, that's a definitely swivel lock. Yup. That's a swivel lock. Then you have a central uh, pivot point. Makes sense, it's a little bit tube, so the wires doesn't get tangled and, and ripped off eventually. Mm -hmm. And then the lifting mechanism is actually part of the seat. And this, this should be easy. This should be just a, see, just a lever. And then it has locks on both sides. And essentially unlocks. And I can move the seat back and forth. Wow. Now you know. Thank you, Ladi, forever. You're welcome. Hey, take care and buy me a donut. Okay, back to the bases. It's time to do some reinforcement. I studied how the original one looks like. So they have supported the front leg and then I should be able to spray paint and carry on.
Nebude to také ľahké, drahá. Mňa sa nezbavíš, s tým sa lúč. Nie, nie, nie. Okay, it's time to turn this scrap plywood, it's a lightened plywood, into something more beautiful. Like a hmm, like a subwoofer. Lottie is again utilizing some of the recycled plywood that has been stored at this workshop since the concrete production days. It's a dependable material, easy to work with, kick resistant, and won't add too much extra weight to the structures. We are wrapping both boxes below in a black fabric. This is easy to clean and dries quickly. Lottie is using a bright pink contact glue to attach the fabric to the subwoofer box and will do the same for Millie's den. Can't wait to hear the bass. And now, my overnight baked 3D printed grid. Pretty cool. You're driving along in your camper van. It's hot, you're lost, and suddenly you need to pull over on the side of a busy road. For some reason, you need to open the side door or the back door and keep them open. You're in and out of the van. Do you know what the last thing you want to deal with is? A curious kitten. She might be sick of driving and want to go outside. She might want to escape the van and sniff. On the side of a busy road, <laughs> this is just asking for a tragedy. So what do you need? The kitten den. Something to keep your kitten safe, secure, and contained when you just can't deal with her. Somewhere safe she can hide if one of the dogs at the campsite has murder eyes. Somewhere she can retreat to when she's been overtouched. Located under the driver's side seat. First of all, I, I need to mark this base. 
that's number one because look I want this board to be sitting straight on this but also the swivel mechanism sits straight on this so I'm gonna just cut around these feet essentially so I can have both of them the board and the swivel straight on the base Okay, we'll see. So this is the covering, Kua covering board. Holes fit nicely. Wow, this is tight fit. This doesn't even move. Having a pet during van life is absolutely amazing, but it's different for everyone. And if you're planning to build a van and bring your cat or dog, you have to make design choices for them. They should have a few secure places to be while driving, spots in the van that are completely their own, and a way for them to be kept inside of the van when it's completely open. We had an experience at the Bulgarian border when an officer opened the side door and we were not expecting it. Millie got so freaked out by him that she tried to make a run for it. Another time, a border patrol agent's drug sniffing dog caught a scent of Millie and completely lost it, lunging after her. If she had a small enclosure like this where she could be locked away and hide, we'd have no concerns about her safety in these situations. This hiding box has multiple cutout windows on the sides, so we can both see if she's in the box and she can see out. Having these windows also helps with the air circulation below while allowing her to understand what's happening around her. Everything's been going really smooth so far. Lottie is like full steam ahead because we have a really tight deadline of tomorrow, which is Tuesday, August 31st. Uh, and then we had this little moment of panic of thinking, wait a second, with this entry door for the box, what if Millie doesn't fit? I need to go take some measurements. We're all good. Let's get it.
<laughs> it, is, it is pretty sick, right? That is just, it's so cute. It's so cute. How it catches. Wow. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. I still think it looks good. Mm. I, I want to see what it looks like with the top on, too. I have to say this magnet is a really, really fun thing. The whole time I expected to have it under the blanket, but honestly I forgot throughout the build. So I was forced to glue them on the top of the blanket. And you know what? At least the magnet, when it doesn't have three millimeter gap thickness of the fabric in between each of them, they are at least super strong. <laughs> so you can see how it even grabs out of my fingers and positions the door exactly on place. This is so fun, so fun and so playful that <laughs> I just can't get over this. cool that is really stupid cool now I feel like the floor is unworthy of these stands that might be another project oh another one but I love this look this is like I like that they're not the same they both have unique purposes uh -huh. it's purposeful yeah. mm, intentional and the subwoofer base facing towards the middle. So when we're driving, it's like equal sound. And then back here, it's equal sound. Mm -hmm. It's not just facing forward or facing back. Kiss. Where is Milignac? Ahoy! Pushkina? Meow. 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 Shh. It's done. It's done, seeds are dropped, and the same theme we chose as a fabric for those seeds is the same theme that will be throughout the whole van, which is the teal and gray. We love it, and this is what we're gonna have. And it all looks so good. I mean, those bases look so much better than I thought that they would look. And they both have like their unique purposes and everything else. I love the vision when the vision comes to reality because you only envision a raw, blurry picture, what would be cool, and then seeing it colorful, colorful well executed is something really addicting. <laughs> I wish we could see those seats, the finished upholstered seats now, but unfortunately we're not going to be able to see them for another two months, which kind of brings us to this big news. Big news. We got a flight to catch because there's a van on the other side of the world that, that we need to see this design. And test out. We need to do some testing on this thing. Lottie and Margaret have another van on another continent? Whoop. So this van, it's safe, it's being stored, and it's going to wait for us because we have some ideas to go poach. We have some design concepts to go And there's with. a really interesting new collaboration opportunity. We're gonna loop you in in the following video. And it's gonna be really interesting. And as a van lifers, you're gonna love this. Okay, let's pack it up. You ready? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Hopefully, we got three hours to catch our train and yes, yeah, train to Prague, bunny. 
Let's go. I'm yours until the end of time. Last